Next one is find the total number and total mass of protons in 34 milligrams of ammonia at STP. Will the answer change if temperature and pressure are changed? This is similar to the previous question. So there you saw for neutrons in this case you are seeing with respect to protons. So method of solving is going to be the same. In this case the first one we are going to solve. So for that we are going to write that 1 mole of ammonia is equal to 17 grams which is the molar mass of ammonia. So for this when we talk about number of total number or total mass of protons at STP mole plays an important role. So 1 mole of ammonia contains Avogadro number of ammonia molecules. Now when we tell about protons, what is proton? Number of protons equals atomic number itself. So when we are telling okay, we need to calculate what is the number of protons in a particular atom, we basically look at its atomic number. Both the values are going to be the same. So here therefore one molecule of ammonia contains how many protons? So atomic number of nitrogen is 7 which is equal to number of protons in nitrogen plus Atomic number of hydrogen is 1 but we have 3 atoms so this will be equal to 3 therefore 10 protons. So one molecule of ammonia contains 10 protons of these. Now here when we say we need to calculate 1 mole of ammonia contains Avogadro's number into 10. 10 is the number of protons. When we calculate you will get 60.22 into 10 to the power 23 which is equal to shift the decimal. So this will be 6.022 10 to the power 23 protons. But still we haven't yet found out in 34. So therefore we can write that 17 grams of ammonia contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 24 protons. That is what we just found out. Therefore, 34 milligram will become 34 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams. Here gram is given but here milligram is given. So you should convert it to gram by multiplying 10 to the power minus 3. This much of ammonia contains how much? So for this it will be 6.022 into 10 to the power 24 into 34 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 17. When we, when we cross multiply this you will get 1.0 10 to the power 22 protons. So that answers our first question that says total number of protons required for this much. Now the next question is to find out the total mass. So to find total mass we say mass of 1 proton equals 1.6726 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. That is the mass of a proton. Therefore, mass of mass of these many protons mass of these many protons equals cross multiply them 1.6726 into 10 to the power minus 27 into 1.2044 into 10 to the power 22 
Now this answer will be 2.0144 into 10 to the power minus 5 kg. So this is going to be the answer for the second one. Now your question has not yet finished because there is another question it says will the answer change if temperature and pressure are changed. Number of protons or the mass is not going to vary when you increase the pressure or increase the temperature. It is not going to, they, they still remain, number of protons are still going to remain the same. The mass of it is going to remain the same, there is no change at all. So therefore you can say there is no effect of temperature or pressure as the number of protons and mass remains the same. So that is your answer for the next one that asks whether there is a change in the temperature or pressure. Uh, when, you when you keep changing them, will it, is it going to affect your answer? So the answer is no.